566 federally recognized tribes in our country. These tribes have many similarities, but also many differences. There are 29 tribes in Washington State. The Olympic Peninsula. There are nine tribes on the Olympic Peninsula. The Quina or Kunaith. Quileut or the Quileut. Quidishtaak. Makaw Nation. The Clallam or Nusclam. The Thaquamish or the Thaquabsh. The Skokomish or the Squoquobish. Let's learn more about the Clallam people. The Clallam people lived all across the North Olympic Peninsula. They were known to be fierce warriors. Their name even means the strong people. They had huge villages at the mouth of river streams and in safe harbors and bays. There were also large villages in foothills of the mountains, usually close to rivers or streams. There were many sources of food in the ocean, rivers, and forests, but salmon, or shanguth, was one of the main foods. Fish were always plentiful, and fishing could be done year-round. During the summer month, when the weather was good and the food was plenty, the Clallam people often packed up their families and traveled into the mountain for gathering, fishing, and hunting. When the season ended, they returned into their permanent village for the winter. Like other Northwest tribes, Cedar or Pot was very important to the Clallam people. This evergreen was one of the main natural resources used in their everyday lives. All parts of the tree were used to make different things. The longhouses or trakal were made from cedar. Their main mode of transportation, the canoe, was made from the cedar tree. One clown word for canoe is snuff. The bark of the tree can be pulled off in long strips, then used to make things like clothing, baskets, hats, and mats. When settlers began populating the area, the Clallam were forced to move out of their villages and find new places to live. There were many ill feelings over the way the newcomers took all of the land. In 1855, the Clallam, along with many other tribes during that time, signed treaties. Treaties are legal documents between the U.S. government and the tribes. By signing the treaties, the tribes gave up their traditional land in exchange for securing many rights. When the Clallam signed the 1855 treaty, of point no point. They ceded their lands and secured their rights to hunt, fish, and gather in their usual accustomed areas from the Hoko to the Hamahama River and into the mountains. They also secured their right to govern themselves, were promised a small payment for the land as well as food, medical, and educational support. As more and more New people began moving to this area. Life got harder for the native people. Many had already died from diseases brought by the first explorers. And many were treated unkind by the new settlers who were struggling to survive in a new area as they were trying to start a new life. Despite their many challenges, the first people have survived and became organized into the tribes that we know of today. Traditional teachings and practices are still passed on and done today, some in new ways. Historical and cultural information is still taught through stories, but nowadays is shared through modern textbooks, lessons in schools, and even videos like the one you're watching now. Today there are 566 federally recognized tribes across the United States. 29 of those are in Washington State, with 9 of them being right here on the Olympic Peninsula. The Clallam people are still a large group, but now separated into three tribes. Or the Port Gamble Clallam tribe. Or the Jamestown Clallam tribe. 
Eshwan is Glytium. Lower Ella Clown Tribe. Thank you for watching this video. Now you have learned a little bit about the clown people and how they lived long ago.